All right, welcome to the next video of the series. So today we'll create a first, a first producer and the first consumer um, for Kafka. And we'll do this within the command line interface. And then afterwards in the next video, we'll be creating our first Kafka producer in Python. So have fun. So before we can consume and produce data to Kafka, we need to do some configurations. So let's move to our Kafka directory. Here it is and um, create within the Kafka folder, a new folder called um, data. We need this folder to store some logs for uh, Kafka. And uh, so within the folder, let's create a new one, one for Kafka and another one for Zookeeper. We need this for storing logs and so on. So, at this point, a short hint, Zookeeper is just a tool which is mandatory for, for Kafka um, to, to let it run. So let's have a look at this. So move to Kafka and your config folder and move to Zookeeper properties here and add it with, uh, it with a text editor. So basically you have a data direction path here and um, we need to replace this path with our nearly created Zookeeper folder um, we just created a couple of seconds ago. So copy this, um, I'm always doing it like this, copy address as text. And then let's copy it here to the data dictionary and now make sure you have some backwards slashes here. Make sure to, to change them to forward slashes here, otherwise it will not recognize it. So. Now you updated the Zookeeper's uh, properties um, and um, you will make use of it in a while. Next, um, we'll copy the directory of the uh, newly created Kafka folder within the data folder and edit the file server properties here. Here we also have a logs directory and here we will enter the newly created path to our Kafka folder. Again here replace the backward slashes with forward slashes. And one more thing within the server properties, this is a configuration for Kafka. And as mentioned, Kafka needs Zookeeper to run first. And actually Zookeeper is running um, for me, not on localhost, but on 0, 0, 0, 0 port 2181. So I'm changing it here. For you, you can check where it's running, either on localhost or on this. Um, so let's save this file. Um, and we will come across the server properties and Zookeeper properties again in a minute. So next, basically after we've done this, let's move to the Kafka bin windows folder. And here we'll start the Zookeeper server uh, within the Zookeeper server start file. And afterwards we'll start the Kafka server start. So let's do it. Let's open a random command line, move to our Kafka bin windows directory. And now let's um, start um, Zookeeper server start but. Let's do this, Zookeeper server start dot but. And basically we need to add additional properties. So basically we need to go one time back, another time back, move to config folder and here point to the Zookeeper property. So let's do the same here. Let's go one folder back, second folder back, move to config folder and then include zookeeper.properties and hit enter. Et voila, you have zookeeper running and you see at the bottom, uh, where is it? Uh, info binding to port, so it's actually running on 00002181. So zookeeper is up and running, congratulations. Next, let's start Kafka. So. Uh, for this, we need to from the bin. Uh, sorry, you can see here some some logs are created for 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 Zookeeper already after starting it. Uh, but now let's um, move to bin Windows and now let's start Kafka with the command uh, Kafka server start bat. For this, you need to open a new command line. So don't uh, do it in the same command line because Zookeeper needs to be up and running. So open a new one, move to the uh, Kafka bin windows folder and um, start the Kafka server bot here. Kafka server dot uh, minus start dot bat. And again, we need to give 
further properties again we have to move one folder back another one back move to config and here include the server properties so let's do the same in the console um, one step back another step back move to config and then include server properties and let's run it hit in, enter and you see a lot of comments a lot of stuff happening Kafka is up and running again congratulations now uh, let's move to bin windows folder again and here we have a lot of options and the one we use next is kafka topics to actually create a topic within kafka again let's move or uh, start a new command line again move to our bin windows uh, directory uh, of the kafka folder and then let's run the kafka topics but um, so uh, type at the beginning kafka minus topics dot but and again we have to give in first attributes we have to give the uh, location where zookeeper is running so we have to give minus minus zookeeper four times a zero on port 2181 and then the next comments are minus minus topic and the topic name in this case is test topic um, and we have to give further attributes like partitions replications factors don't worry about them now and actually I did an error here. So um, what is the reason? Ah, I'm dumb here, sorry. So actually it's the, the comment is minus minus create. And then another option is partitions one replication factor one. Um, so uh, important here is you have to give start Kafka topics, but uh, place your zookeeper location, minus minus topic, topic name, minus minus create for creation of the of the topic and now you can see created topic test topic was successfully um, well first topic created on on our kafka broker um, now we can do one additional thing to again minus minus topic test topic and we can give the comment minus minus describe to see some more information about the topic but uh, like the partition, like the replication factor, which you defined up front. But don't worry about this now. This goes into too much detail at this level. So again, third time, congratulations. First topic been created here. Next, let's start a producer. Uh, for this, we need to run the Kafka console producer. But um, again, we have to specify some options here. So uh, in this case, um, we don't have to link um, uh, Zookeeper. We have to give our pass to Kafka with a minus minus broker list comment, 92. Now we have to specify the topic we want to produce to, uh, minus minus topic and the topic name, which is test topic. Hit, hit enter. And now you can see this uh, arrow at the beginning. You can already produce messages to Kafka. So let's enter one random message like message one um, message two message three and so on and so you produced uh, you produce three messages at this point to your kafka topic test topic now uh, let's start a consumer to to actually read out of this topic and for this we need to open a new command line um, move to our kafka bin windows folder again and start the Kafka console consumer dot but and um, here we have to give again the broker list so our Kafka reference our running Kafka cluster localhost 992 um, next we have to specify the topic so topic and the name was uh, test underscore topic and now we will additionally give a further parameter, which is the name from beginning, which means we want to read all messages which have ever been produced for this um, topic. So let's run it. And uh, when you get something like this, you did an error. So let's see. Broker list is not a recognized option. Um, what's that? Let me think. Um, Ah, right. 
I think Brocolus localhost. Uh, Brocolus is not a recognized topic. Ah, uh, yes, uh, actually, for the consumer, it's not Brocolist. Um, it's um, a bootstrap servers. So, um, um, actually, is it bootstrap servers or bootstrap server? Now I'm confused. Um, I think it's bootstrap server servers. Let's just try it. And bootstrap servers localhost 1992, and let's run it. And the same error again, sorry for that. Uh, it's bootstrap server, I could have looked it up before. Sorry for this. One more try um, with uh, bootstrap server. And let's run it. Oh, in the background, something is happening. Taking some time. And you see our three messages, which we produced up front. So message one, two, three, uh, which we produce in the other CMD window. Uh, is visible here in our consumer, but let's um, do more. Let me rearrange windows a little bit. So um, to have it on one screen and then let's produce something on the left on the producer and let's directly see that it gets consumed in the consumer on the right. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's create another two messages. Message four, mess, that's strange. Is it not appearing? Um, did my message somehow crash? My, my CMD somehow crash? Let me try again. Message five. Still not getting consumed. Um, never had this issue before. Usually it should be there within. Un uh, now it's there. Uh, sorry, whatever this delay was about i'm not sure as mentioned never had the situation before perhaps my my pc is slow because of the recording um i don't know let's try again um let's let's produce further messages message six ah now it's quick so now you can produce something on the left and it gets consumed on the right and so uh yeah let's uh, produce further fun messages like hello hello uh and actually this is the end now thank you for watching you um in the in the next session we'll um uh, create a producer in python so have fun and thanks for watching see you soon bye bye